All right, so now we're going to start putting some of these core concepts uh, in practice. And you know, we've already done this a little bit. We're kind of moving forward, moving back, moving forward, moving back. I've kind of been jumping around a little bit. I'm doing it on purpose because I want to go over stuff. I want to jump back and review. I want to jump forward, jump back and review. So I'm kind of doing this on purpose. But I want to go back again and kind of go more in depth on giving you some examples of this right here. You know, using this stuff. Uh, almost like an over the shoulder where we're going to actually do it in real time with this kind of example website all right so i'm going to i'm going to create some scenarios with this so it's not going to be <clears throat> it's not going to be uh you know starting from scratch but you'll get that you get a great idea of what i'm talking about as we do this okay so let's go to our website all right we got completebeginnerworkshop.com all right so like i explained we're going to use all pages all right so Let's see, right now we have, of course, those three posts, but we're not going to be using them. Then we have our home page, the page on eHarmony, OKCubit, and Plenty of Fish. These, the Plenty of Fish, OKCubit, and eHarmony pages, these were just for examples, okay? You would never put an eHarmony page or OKCupid or Plenty of Fish on this website because this website's meant to be about SEO, okay? So what I'm gonna do is we just, we only created these pages because I was doing a quick example when we were going over that old dating site, which is, where is it? I guess I, I, deleted, I put, took it down. But you guys remember the dating site in the beginning of this series that kind of looked good. I believe it was like top10datingsites.com, something like that. Uh, we can actually go find it really quick so you know what I'm talking about. I believe it was this one right here. So if you remember this site here, we only put up those pages because I was looking at this site and I was providing an example. Again, you would never put uh, pages on dating sites uh, on an SEO site. An SEO site is meant for SEO content, okay? We wouldn't put dating stuff on an SEO site typically. So let's go ahead and go delete those pages. We're gonna keep our home page, so that's fine. So let me delete uh, eHarmony. Let me actually delete these two. I can delete both. Move to trash and apply. <clears throat> so I showed you two different ways to delete your pages if you want. All right, so now we just have the home page. So when I reload this, uh, we have just the home. Okay. So now we have just a home page. We have those posts too, which I actually don't need. So I can go delete those. So we're not going to be using posts anymore. I just wanted to show you, you know, the difference between all of them. We can just kind of move all these to trash. We don't need those. All right, so we're good to go now. Our only page is our home page. You know, the page we're designating is the home page. So let's let's act like this is a real site. Okay, it is a real site, but let's act like it was a site I was starting from scratch. And you know, so I start this up, and I want to I want to make this site. It's called Complete Beginner Workshop, and the point of the site is to you know the it's a it's a course that teaches people you know how to do beginner SEO. So what I want to do is kind of plan out my site from the beginning, right? Typically, what I would have done is I would have picked a domain that had SEO in it. You know, would have probably done like uh, SEObeginnerworkshop.com, something like that. I named it Complete Beginner Workshop because that's the name of this you know, mini course I'm doing for, for beginners that introduce them to SEO. So uh, that's the name of the site. But typically, if I was starting this project over and I was actually trying to go after keywords, I probably would have called it SEO Beginner Workshop. Okay, uh, or the domain name would have been called SEO Beginner Workshop because if we're talking about SEO and we have SEO in the domain, it's going to make it easier to rank for. Okay, but it's okay even if you don't. Like even in this scenario where I don't have SEO in my domain name, it's totally fine. I can still rank for stuff. It's just going to be a little harder. Okay, but that's why you usually want to plan out your sites from the beginning uh, because. If I plan out this site from the beginning, and this was like a real project I was doing, I was okay. I want to create a new site, and I want to make it, you know, all about SEO for beginners. Okay, it's all about like you know teaching beginners SEO. So I'd probably call it SEObeginnerworkshop.com. You know, then I would have SEO in my domain name, and that helps identify better what my what my whole site's going to be about. Again, I don't have it uh, because this is just an example site, and it's not a real project I'm doing. Uh, but even without that, totally fine. Okay, so we can use this. All right, so the point of this site, I want to map. I kind of want to map it out before I start, right? So you always want to map out sites and kind of gauge what you're going to be doing before you start, right? So the home page is, you know, we got completebeginnerworkshop.com. Whoops, complete 
beginnerworkshop.com. And the home page, I'm going to be trying to rank for like, um, what do we say? So we can do like, um, you know, maybe like SEO training for beginners. Um, beginner SEO workshop. Um, SEO courses for beginners. And then what I usually do is I think the keywords that I would want to rank this, you know, that I would search for to find this type of course. And I start with that. Okay, so like SEO training for beginners. That's a good one. And then what I do is I go start go start doing some research. Now there's a plugin you can install. It's called Keywords Everywhere. And I recommend you install this. It's totally free at the time that I shot this video. You can install it for Chrome or Firefox. And what that does is when you type in something like SEO training for beginners or any search term, it's going to give you the amount of searches it gets per month, how much people are paying for it in advertising, and the big one we're using for this purpose, a whole bunch of recommendation keywords, you know, and what all people also search for. And that gives me other keyword ideas, okay, and there's also more down here, okay. So there's all these different uh, keywords that can kind of give us ideas. So let's go after some more here. Um, SEO for beginners could be one. That's kind of a bigger keyword. So these are all keywords I'm kind of thinking about. Let's see if I see anything else. Hmm. SEO for beginners. Let's see. Let's start up here. SEO free course for beginners. I wouldn't want to go after free. Uh, I mean, I could collect leads and do that, but I'm not going to do that. Um, let's see. So let's see if I see any more like keywords that stick out to me. Let's see. You could do best beginner SEO course. I bet you that's something we could do. Best beginner SEO course. So let's do. Let's type this in. Let's do like beginner SEO course, and let's see what comes up for that. See if we get some different keywords. Beginner SEO course. Let's see what type of recommendations we get or related keywords. SEO for beginners again. How to learn SEO at home. Let's see. SEO classes. That's another keyword. Like SEO classes for beginners. Let me put this under. classes for beginners of course so really all of these are for beginners so I can delete for beginners to make this shorter we know this is all for beginners okay so beginners tied into all of these SEO courses SEO for beginners uh, best SEO course you know best SEO classes all that type of stuff I'm just getting my base keywords here um, online SEO training so I can add that in. And I'm just kind of compiling a list of the, the type of keywords that I'd want to rank my home page for. Okay. Let's see. SEO manager name. No. SEO course curriculum no. there. Right, that's good enough. I mean, I, I might usually do a little more keyword research and try to find some more keywords, but this is just an example, so I'm not going to um, tutorial. That's another that's another keyword I can add in there. So you can look at the titles of other people and see what they're mixing in. So I don't think I have tutorial in there, so I'm going to add in SEO tutorial. And of course, all of this is for beginners. So like SEO training for beginners, SEO workshop for beginners, SEO courses for beginners, SEO for beginners. Best SEO course for beginners, SEO classes for beginners, online SEO training for beginners, and SEO tour for, for beginners. Because our site is a beginner SEO course, right? So we want to target beginner SEO related keywords. Now, this is all I'm going to be I'm going to be targeting on my home page. Why? Because that's what my home page is about, right? That's like when we reload our site here. This content would all be based around, you know, we like how we it, now it's not because I just put up a generic article, but we would theme this home page around like our SEO course and we kind of sell our SEO course, right? We put up like a sales letter and just talk about all the stuff that we have in our training. And, you know, people would come right here when they type in like SEO course for beginners, they would see our product and they would get a chance to buy it. Okay. So 
let's go ahead and uh, move forward now. We got our keyword list kind of for our home page, like all this type of stuff. So with that said, let's go back to this page. Let's make some changes to our current uh, content. Okay. Now we're going to pretend that this content has to do with like SEO training for beginners. Okay. I'll change the key points, but just pretend like all this main content just kind of talked about like SEO for beginners, and you know we kind of talk about our course a little bit. I'll change the important parts. All right. So the first thing we want to focus on is the title. That's the most important thing. So we're going to go down here. We're going to change our title. Okay, so let's see what title can we make that fits in the most of these kind of keywords in there. Um, let's see. So I could do something like, so I want to fit in maybe a few of these keywords and the rest of them I kind of put in H tags, right? So let's see here. I usually like to stay under 70 characters, so I'm just kind of looking at this. Let's see. So the biggest keywords would probably be like SEO training, SEO for beginners, SEO course, online, we can mix in. All right, so how about the best online SEO training course for beginners. Okay, then we'll say the name of our website, Beginner Workshop, Complete Beginner Workshop. All right, so let's put that in there. And I'll show you what I did with that. Okay, so that's a little long, but I'm okay with that. Um, and I could just delete my site name. I could actually add in the year, and I want to show you what I did here. All right, so what I did is I fit in as many, excuse me, keywords as I could in my title, and it mixes in all these keywords. So this is going to help me rank for a lot of different keywords. This is going to help me rank for uh, best S best online SEO training course, uh, best S online SEO training course for beginners, uh, online SEO training, online SEO training course, online SEO training course for beginners. Uh, online SEO training course for beginners 2019, uh, SEO training course, SEO training course for beginners. So there, this helps me rank for like a lot of different versions of the keyword. Like the more versions, the more words you have in your title that you can kind of pull out of here, the better it's going to work for you. Okay. So what I want to do now is kind of maybe write down some of the words I did not use. So I used training. Uh, I used, I didn't use workshop, so I can mix in that. Um, did I use course? I use course, um, SEO for beginners. I kind of used that already. Now it's it's here, and there's a word in between, a couple words in between. But SEO for beginners is still in there. All right, so that will still help us rank very good for SEO for beginners. Uh, course, I have again classes I don't have, so I want to try to mix that in. Um, I did online tutorial. I didn't do tutorial. So I didn't use these three words up here, so I probably want to mix these three words into my H tags, okay? So let's go up, and you don't have to put your site name into your title. Um, I didn't in this case just because I have a longer title. Sometimes you may want to, sometimes you may not. Uh, if I wanted to definitely get my site name in here, which I may in this case actually, I would just take out... Um, one of these keywords, I'd probably do this. I'd probably take out course um, and then just do this. And then take out the year or two. It just depends on how important it is for you to get your, um, to get your, the name of your site in your title, if it's important to you or not, okay? We'll, we'll pretend that it is. Um, and we'll keep it in there, okay? So now I actually deleted some keywords, so I wanna write those down too. So let's see, we got workshop in there now, so I can actually take that out, because that's, you know, that's in our brand, that's in our domain name, okay? Um, let's see, training is still in there, workshop's in there, course. All right, so courses isn't in there anymore. So I'll put course in my H tags. Uh, classes, tutorial. All right, so we pretty much just took out course. All right, end the year. So 
So maybe I want to add it because a year is a good keyword to add in because a lot of people add that to the end of searches. They'll search like, you know, SEO for beginners 2019 because they want updated information. So just a little hint there, adding a year to your title or in your H tags can get you a lot of extra long tail traffic. All right. So what I did was I just created a, a title that, you know, fits the most keywords in I can uh, for my site and also you know it's gonna help me rank for all the variations of those keywords much easier uh, but also fit in the name of my site because that's that's an, that's you know some people just want to do that sometimes all right, but you don't have to you're, you're, the name of your site doesn't have to be in your title all right so let's go ahead and update that now we've updated our title to our most important keywords being in there all right and whatever your most important keywords are that's what you want to work into your title all right, so now we got best online training for beginners, uh, complete beginner workshop. Okay. So now let's go here. All right, so this is going to be our H tag. This is the most important H tag on on the uh, on the page. So what I want to do is pick some words uh, that I want to pick some words that uh, are very important that I haven't used and put them here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a variation of SEO. So I'm gonna do search engine optimization because that's another way to say SEO and I like doing that with my H tags. Like I said SEO in my title with SEO. So I'm gonna say actually say search engine optimization in my H tag. I like switching it like that, all right? Did I do training? I think I already did training. You already did training. Um, I'll do the top. Top rated. Okay. How about that? So now we got the top rated search engine optimization course for 2019 for newbies in 2019. So now look what I'm doing. I'm using synonyms. Okay. I used best in my title, so I use top here, top rated. Uh, I used SEO in my title, so I'm going to use search engine optimization here, another way to say it. I used, I don't know why my title's not showing up there. I used um, just training in my title, so I'm going to use uh, course uh, in here. I used beginners in my title, so I'm going to use newbies in here, because beginners, beginners and newbies kind of go hand in hand, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and update that. I, I put a whole bunch more keywords in my H tags, all right? All right, so I've now used uh, you know top newbies, and I should have actually put that in my keyword list maybe, because those are variations of you know we want a variation for beginner, a variation for SEO if possible, and that was uh, top or top rated actually, and then newbies. We use both of them, all right? So now what haven't we used? We haven't used classes, and we haven't used tutorial, all right? So we used all the rest of them in the, in the previous one. So maybe in my H2 tag right here, I try to work in those two. And you don't have to. Like this, I just kind of am showing you like the way I approach this. If I don't get these in, I don't get them in. Google still knows you're about that, but if you have those actual words written in the imp more important places, the more likely you are to rank easier, okay? So I'd rather be able to rank easier if I can off these little changes. All right, so let's do this. Beginner. SEO class because I haven't used class yet, right? I'll just do how about the ultimate beginner SEO tutorial. So now look, I've used almost all my keywords now, okay? Now I've used tutorial, so the only word left is classes. So what I'm going to try to do is fit that into an H tag somewhere down here, right? So let's just pretend again, this is a sales page and it's about you know our, our beginner SEO course that we have going on, that we all talk about that. Uh, and I scroll down and then maybe I have an H tag here and we talk about why our course is so good here, okay? So I know that I haven't used classes yet. So how about what we offer in our online classes, our online SEO classes, bam, how about that? All right, then you got online SEO classes in an H tag. And I'll, of course, change that to an H2 tag, and bam. 
now you have your last keyword somewhere on your page in an h tag okay so now all of our keywords are, are covered in some important places and again you don't have to fit them all in just know that your most important ones uh whatever you pick as your most important keywords try to fit in your title okay your next most important ones try to fit into your h tag all right your h1 tag and then next most important ones go in some h2 tags if possible try to work them in all right now the last step of our on page thing is uh, so we fit it in our U our URL. Well, it's not in our URL because we can't. You know, we can't change our our um, our home page, so we can't put it in there. But we put it in our title and we put the rest in H tags. Now we can also do our meta description. Okay, so let's scroll down and edit that. Let's click here, and here's our meta description. So let's you know remember what our keywords are and just fit as many of them as we can in here without without overdoing it. Are you ready? To get the best online SEO training tutorial for beginners, uh, proven and backed up by over 1,000 success stories. Learn search engine optimization. That's going to be too long. The best SEO course available bam okay so now we got a lot of our keywords in here I actually I'm gonna do top here top because I use best rate up here I don't want to use the same keyword twice if possible so we got you know again we got online SEO training online SEO training tutorial uh, SEO training SEO training tutorial SEO training tutorial for beginners you know and a mixture of all those keywords and of course we got you know top SEO course and then you know they and they kind of mix and match all these together the more of those keywords you can naturally fit in there, the better. All right, and meta description doesn't do much for you. It's the lowest on the list for the on-page stuff, but you might as well fill it out and help yourself. So let's go ahead and update that. So we've taken care of those things now. All right. The last thing we want to make sure we don't overuse our keywords in content. Okay, and the way I do that is I always I hold down Control and hit F. And you can find on page. I want to make sure I'm not. Am I saying SEO too much on this page? 62, not too bad. 62 is not bad for a, a 2,500 word article. So I'm okay with that because it's such a big keyword. But SEO for beginners, I would not want that many times because that's a longer keyword, right? The longer the keyword is, the less you want it to be used. Only three times, I'm totally fine with just three times, okay? Uh, then I want to check some of my other stuff like SEO course. All right, only once, that's not bad. Uh, SEO training. You know, there's only three that's great what you don't want is you don't want to search for like a, especially like longer keywords like you know for example SEO for beginners and see that on your page like a hundred times that's not good um, if SEO by itself was on its page a hundred times that's fine because it's a it's such a widely used term but the longer the term is the less you want to use it for example um, even more so you wouldn't want to see best SEO course for beginners in 2019. Now look how long this one is. If you saw this on your page 100 times, I guarantee you you're gonna be over optimized, okay? So the longer the term is, the less you wanna see it. Um, and I just usually typically search for like the main word and then maybe like a, like a, the, the biggest version because that's usually does the trick. Uh, but if for some reason you're getting really like a ton of keywords on the page, you, you have to take it down. You have to take those numbers down because you're only going to hurt yourself, okay? But, and also know, the longer the keyword is, the the least, the less it should be appearing on your page. Like this long of a keyword probably shouldn't appear on your page more than like three times. That's so long. You don't need to keep repeating that. You can say this in different ways. You can say best SEO training for beginners in 2019. Best SEO or top, you know, search engine optimization uh, tutorial for beginners in 2019. Uh, you know, top rated search engine optimization course for newbies and what like you can say it in different ways and you make want to make sure you do that. Okay. But again, I always just search for the main word 62. That's a good sign because it's not there to, you know, it's that's not overdone uh, for this long of an article. That, that's fine. Uh, and then I search for like, you know, some of my others, maybe like, like another big word like beginners. That's only there six times. Awesome. Okay. So that's good. That's totally fine. All right. So this, the, this is, I'm not using too many keywords on this page too many times, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and update, and we're all taken care of, our on-page is done, that's it. We're all set up on-page. The next step would be linking.
Okay, we're not going to cover that in this, but I just wanted to show you this. So let's go on and do another example. Let's we did our home page. Our home page is set, and let's say before this, like we targeted the home page for you know, of course, everything SEO training, SEO workshop, SEO courses, you know, SEO for beginners, uh, best SEO course, SEO classes. So our home page is going to rank. We're going to be going after all these types of keywords. All right. And we optimized our site to give us the best chance of ranking for those keywords in the most in the order of most important, right? So, you know, most important for us is probably like you know SEO training for beginners, SEO for beginners, um, best SEO training for beginners, like that type of stuff would be most important for us looking at our title. Second most important would be you know whatever's in our H1 tag, which didn't change. I don't know why that didn't change. It's supposed to change. I don't know if I didn't uh, reload. There we go. And then our next most important keywords would be in our H1 tag, okay? And we got, you know, the other version of search engine of, of, of SEO, search engine optimization. We got newbies. We got course, top rated. Uh, so more like the lesser used keywords go here. And then the least, the, you know, whatever you have left, kind of try to work into your H tags, all right? And another thing is just because I say, you know, like SEO training in my title, I can say SEO training again in H tag. That's totally fine. Just don't keep doing it, all right? And try to minimize it and try to say it in other ways if possible, all right? But this is our homepage is set up. It's now optimized for the keywords we want and it's ready to go. The, the last stage would be linking. So let's go do another example. You know, we're probably not just going to have a homepage. We're probably going to be creating inner pages to go after more keywords, all right? Our site's about SEO, like the general theme of the site's SEO. So our inner pages are going to be SEO related. So we would want to find keywords that were targeted around SEO that would still fit our site, right? So let's go and add a new page. So maybe I want to focus on doing, what's an SEO topic? How about on-page SEO for beginners, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this page on-page SEO, okay? Let's bring this up and let's kind of plan this out. All right, so now I have completebeginnerworkshop.com slash on page SEO. Now this page is going to part target all types of on page SEO related keywords and probably on page SEO for beginners. Okay, so let's see if we can do a search for that and get some of my keyword ideas. Let's go to Google on page SEO beginners for beginners doesn't look like there's going to be many but we'll still run with it all right on page SEO techniques okay so we can kind of write that down so some of our main keywords are going to be on page SEO for beginners uh, and then we want to work in like the word techniques let's see if we can find any other words to work in tutorial again so we want to work in tutorial See any other words? Checklist. We can work in checklist. Um, so people search for that. It's like on-page SEO checklist. People search for. Uh, let's see. SEO basics. So we can do like bait work in the keyword basics. So like on-page SEO basics. That's a good one. Let's see. Benefits of one page SEO. And eh, that probably wouldn't bring us many sales. Tips. Alright, so basic SEO tips, basic one page SEO tips. Probably work in the word best. Let's see. SEO basics, we already got basics. Alright, so I mean, that's good there. Again, I might go a little further. This is a real site I was doing. Techniques, how to do. Uh, but we're good with that, all right? So let's go to this page, and of course we name it the most important thing or the general topic, on-page SEO, okay? Let's go now change our title, which is the most important part, all right? It's the most, well, other than our our, um, our URL, our title is gonna be most our most important thing. And we're gonna try to fit as many of these words in here as we can, but still sound natural, all right? Now on this page, I'm not gonna repeat the name of my site. 
And actually, for my home page, honestly, if this were my site, I probably wouldn't even say that. I probably would have fit more keywords instead of doing that. But I, either way, whatever. We, we, set, we set it up pretty good. All right, so how about... Trying to fit as many of these keywords in. The best, actually online, eh, online wouldn't work. The best on-page SEO tips tips and techniques. 2019. Um, see if I can work in another word naturally here. All right, so I got on page SEO. Actually, I got to work in beginners. So that should be good there. I have some more room, but Eh, I think that's long enough. So I got the I got some of my most important keywords in here. The best on page SEO tips and techniques for beginners in 2019. So this helps me rank for all the variations of these these words a lot easier, right? So for example, it's gonna help me rank for on page SEO, on page SEO tips, on page SEO techniques, on page SEO tips for beginners, on page SEO techniques for beginners, best on page SEO tips. Best on-page SEO tips for beginners. Uh, you know, on-page SEO 2019. On-page SEO tips 2019. Okay, so the, what this is doing is it helps Google understand that our our site is about all these words together, and it will it will mix and match these keywords. Now, one thing to understand: if you have a keyword exactly in order, it is going to help you rank a little easier. For example, having on-page SEO tips exactly in that order. Um, in my title will do def, will, will do a little more for me than on page SEO techniques because there's tips in the end between it but Google still knows this is about on page SEO techniques and they can still correlate that and that will still help you rank very well for that but you will get a little more juice when your keywords are in a row like this like when there's no words between them okay so just be aware of that just remember Google reads if they can read exactly on page SEO tips they know for sure it's about on-page SEO tips, but they're pretty good at this, and they know it's also about on-page SEO techniques, right? And they know it's also about on-page SEO techniques for beginners in 2019. You know what I mean? Like, they can still correlate all that, but if you have the keywords in a row, it does do a little more for you, okay? At least from what I found. All right, so we've got our most important keywords in our title. I like that title. Let's go ahead and publish. Well, our content will be here. Content will be here, and let's publish. All right, so now when we reload, our on page SEO is right here. And you see we've got our, our title up here, the best SEO, or the best on page SEO tips and techniques for beginners 2019, okay? And actually it would say in 2019 since we have the room for it, so it looks better. In, or for 2019. Okay. Update that again. All right. So we now have the two most important places covered the URL and the title. Okay. Now, with the URL, you can do different things here. Like some people would actually call this on page SEO for beginners, which would have been fine to name the URL that. I like to more just name it the general kind of top it and I guess that is the general top here so we could have called this on page SEO for beginners and it would have been fine but I'm just gonna stick with on page SEO don't get too caught up in that as long as you have like the main keyword topic as the URL that's what you want to worry about okay so don't get too caught up in that you can always take care of the rest with the title and then the linking and that's gonna be the big parts all right as long as we're identifying it well in our URL and our title which we are uh, it's, it's gonna work well for us okay so now, what do we have left? Let's go down, and, and again, you don't have to do your sites exactly like this. Like, 
just it, it can kind of, you don't have to write this stuff all down actually I usually don't I just kind of take a mental note sometimes just write different words in and say things different ways and that's how I come up with it so don't think there's like a, an exact process for this there's not uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys a way that you can do this that if you want to write things down and have a process this is definitely one way you can do it okay all right so what do we use we use on page SEO for beginners do we use techniques we use techniques uh, we use tips, we use best, I can actually put top in here too. So we still need to use top, we need to use basics, we need to use tutorial, and that's it, right? I think we used all these other ones that are kind of my priority keywords. So let's go to our H tag, let's work in some of these keywords we haven't used yet. The top on page search engine optimization tutorial. Is there any other synonyms for beginners other than newbies? One way to do that is go type in beginner synonym. Just starting for new student, I can do new students. Um, for novices, I could use novice. So I can kind of mix in some of these. How about starter? I like starter. Eh, not starter. How about novices? Eh, novice is kind of, I think, more advanced than beginner, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really like any of these. I might just use beginner, beginners again. I'll just repeat beginners this time to show you it's not that big of a deal. All right, so the top on page search engine optimization tutorial for beginners. All right, so now we've used top and we've used tutorial. And we also use search engine optimization, which is a different way, of course, to say SEO. All right, so really the only keyword left that I haven't used is basics, right? So you know, I might have my content here, more content, you know, I'm talking about on-page SEO, talking about on-page SEO, and then I do an H2 tag, working in maybe a word I haven't used yet, like basics. Learn the basics of on-page SEO, like a pro. All right, so now I, you know, more content, Turn this into an H2 tag. Right. And how many H2 tags I have on this page um, just depends on how much content I have. You know, I got an H1 here, I got an H2 here. If it's only 500 words or a few hundred words, I might only have one H2 tag. But if it's a couple thousand words, I'm probably gonna have a few H2 tags, right? So let's let's pretend it's like 1,500 words. I'm gonna have more content. Uh, my next H2 tag, I don't know, might be. Um, I probably won't say on page in it again. Um, maybe I'll use some of these keywords again though. I'm not going to say on page again because I've already used that in my title, my H1 and an H2, and in my URL, and in my URL. So I'm not going to repeat that again. Um, how about checklist? I don't think I've used checklist yet, have I? I don't use checklist. So I actually need to, to work in checklist. So maybe I'll do like um, the beginner checklist, I don't know. And then, you know, of course here would be the things you need to check off your list for on-page SEO, right? And beginner checklist. And just so you know, like, so we have more content, more content. Just because I've already used something in H tags or in my title doesn't mean I can't repeat it again. So, you know, let's just say this is like pretty long article here. I can repeat this stuff again if I want my H tags. So, you know, maybe the best SEO tips for newbies. 
the five, let's say like the five best SEO tips for newbies, the five best quick SEO tips for newbies. And then, you know, five quick, quick free tips. Five best free SEO tips for newbies. How about that? So I'm repeating words that I've already said in, in the H tags and title, totally fine to do. Uh, I'm not saying you can't. I just like using variations as much as possible. Okay? And then of course we would have more content, more content, blah blah blah. Alright, and this page would be done. Well, of course, my next step would be the, the meta description. So let's go ahead and do that. Learn the top rated on page SEO techniques to outrank the pros. Take your search engine optimization to the next level with our techniques. I already said techniques. With our tips. Okay. Notice what I did there, I'm just repeating words I've already said, but I'm saying different versions of it, right? So I got top rated, on-page SEO, the techniques, beginners, uh, search engine optimization, and tips. You know, just different words that were in our kind of most important word list here, all right? So that's good there, I can go ahead and update that. And then the last check would be make sure that we're not over-optimized, okay? So... So I want to make sure I don't have SEO in here too much, 17 times. Let's pretend it's, you know, a 500 or a 1,000 word article, totally fine. Uh, you know, I'd want to search for, since this page is about on-page SEO, on there six times, totally fine. Um, I have no problem with that. And you, again, you just make sure the keywords, especially the longer ones, aren't on your page too much, all right? Once you pass that, we're done. Our on-page is done. The next thing would be to start linking. Okay, so that's just kind of like an over the shoulder example of how you set up those important on page rules that I have in place. Where you know you set your URL, your domain, and you set keyword and URL domain. In this case, we could set our URL, our keyword and our URL, right? In the first case where we're, we were doing the home page, we couldn't because our home page is already selected. Now, if we were starting the site from scratch, I probably would have thought of that ahead of time and named this SEO Beginner Workshop. Then I have SEO in my domain name and it does a lot more for me, okay? Uh, but that didn't happen, so I just do my best and I work as many keywords as I can into the title of the home page, all right? Uh, and then for this page, of course, since it's an inner page, we can work in keywords into the URL. And remember, I could have done on-page SEO for beginners, I could have done maybe even something else, but I like to go with the general topic at least, like on-page SEO or on-page SEO for beginners, and then take care of the longer keywords in the title. Okay, but either of those would have been fine. And then of course we fit in our other keywords, the next most important keywords in our H1 tag, and then the whatever we have left, we try to fit in H2 tags if possible. All right, and then we make sure that we're not overdoing anything in our in our regular content, which you know of course we weren't, especially on this one because it's not a real article. And then we're good to go. Next step is the linking, which we'll get to down the road. All right, so. Hopefully that helps you understand the on-page stuff better. Uh, that is all I focused on for on-page. That is it, okay? If you get that right and you understand this to this point, you are way ahead of the game because the last step you have left is just to focus on the links. Once this is set, you're good to go. Okay, I have sites literally sitting from five, 10 years ago that have been sitting at the top of the search engines for years and years and years. I've never updated the content. I've never changed the content. I've never added more content, which are all things they say you have to do, yet they still sit at number one. Why? Because my basic rules of on-page SEO are right, okay? These basic rules I just covered are all right. And of course, my grammar is correct, and I don't use duplicate content. You know, I, I make sure the articles are written from scratch where they're, they're new, and it's new, fresh content, all right? So hopefully that helps you understand the important on-page rules you have to follow. And if you get it up to this point, congratulations, because you are... Uh, way ahead of most SEOs out there already, and we're only a few hours into this course. The only thing you have to worry about next is the linking part. All right, so congratulations. I'll see you in the next video.